Hi everybody, this is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another video tip of the week. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new tool that's been introduced. It's called the Variable Direction Draft Tool. Now if you're familiar with the typical draft tool, uh, you'll, have to, you'll realize that a conical or a curved surface is not possible to define as one of your uh, planar uh, draft references. So, with the variable direction draft tool, you have the ability to use a conical or a planar or a non-planar surface for that. So I'm going to show you where that is. It's right here in variable pull direction draft. If you are using Creo Elements Pro 5.0, if you go into the advanced tools, it's at the bottom of the list of advanced tools. So I'm just going to go ahead and select variable pull direction draft. I'm going to say that I want a draft based off of this top cylindrical surface. And then I'm going to say that I want to use my hinge as this, as this edge right over here. So we'll pick on the hinge collector, and then I will grab that hinge. You'll notice that it's already started to uh, put the, the angle on for me. You can change directions of these using the arrows if you'd like, so that you can uh, direct where it goes. Then, of course, you've got drag handles here. Now, there's a couple of items that I want to note. The first one was something I already noted, is the fact that I was able to use a cylindrical surface for my reference for my draft plane. The second thing I want to note here, you'll notice that this angle is greater than 30 degrees. Oftentimes I'll have customers asking me, Doug, I want to be able to draft a greater than 30 degree angle, but Creo Parametrics tool won't let me do that. Well, the answer to the question is yes, it will. You're just going to have to use the variable direction draft tool. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just crank that baby up and get a little bit of obnoxious with it and take that to 70 degrees. Again, same sort of scenario, depending on what you want to control or where you want to control it. I can pick this as my variable direction draft plane here, come in and say I want to create a variable direction draft. I can use this as my hinge edge and pull off on this also. But there's a couple of other things that I want to highlight here. So I'm going to go back to where I was on my original variable pull direction draft. So we're going to edit that definition. Okay. Now, in the same vein as you could do a variable radius, I can say, let's add an angle to this variable direction draft. And then I can start to adjust and, and tweak things a little bit. So take a look at the angle that I just created, that feature that I just have. So if you're trying to model things like cutting tools, and you want to be able to introduce some sort of a concave or curvature to it, you can control that using that variable direction draft tool. So give this one a try. We can thank our friends in the tire industry for this. PTC put some effort into it for them so that uh, they could add draft to the, to the lugs that are on your tire tread and very quickly and go. And you'll notice that it is very quick, very simple to set up. But what I'm showing you here isn't the only thing you can do with it. You can do split draft with this also by defining specific surfaces that you want to split by. So give this one a try. If you have any questions, reach out to your EAC Product Development Solutions account manager. Let them know that you saw Doug doing a quick demonstration on the video of a variable direction draft tool, and you'd like to get involved and get more information on it. Thanks again for watching. This is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions. Have a great week.